Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And, you know, I get this question so many times um, in the, you know, every month and every week almost. And it's always, um, you know, this is kind of a delicate question because each have their positive and negatives and all of that. The question, well, of course, is, you know, what's the best browser? Um, you know, uh, Edge. And, and people see me with, you know, all of these browsers that are on my taskbar. And are asking me, well, you know, you got all these browsers. You must have one that is better than the other. You must have something that... Um, you know, should we should use that's better than something else. And there's no simple answer to what's the best browser. Um, I often refer to simply saying the one you use is fine. And, of course, a lot of people out there seeing my response will say, no, there is a better browser. And for you, there might be a better browser, absolutely. Um, and each browser in general has some advantages over others. Uh, one that isn't used much, but that is um, popular among people that, you know, value privacy is Brave. Brave is a browser that, um, you know, really stops the tracking and all of that. But, um, the problem is that some websites might not work very well in Brave, and you'll get a lot of pop-ups. you got to get used to it. It's like using an ad block. Um, you have websites that are going to say, nope, you can't come here, and you have to deal with that. And, you know, it's, it's a delicate balance of two, exactly what you want. Um, of course, the most popular is Chrome, and is there a reason why Chrome is the most popular? It's simply because... Google is fantastic at dominating the market. It's not necessarily the best browser around. It's often been actually plagued with things like using too much RAM, too much resources. Um, but over time, people moved on to Google Chrome, and it accounts for roughly 70% of all the browsers use, which is a huge number. Um, and it doesn't, you know usage does not necessarily mean it's better. It's simply people have adopted this. And if you use Chrome and you have somebody telling you, oh, Chrome's no good or Chrome is this or that, you know, over time as a tech guy, the first thing that I always did when somebody asked, I'm using this browser, is it fine? Unless there was a really inherent big problem with the browser or maybe because it was outdated, you know, I would have said something, but for the most part, you're happy with what you have. That's fine. Um, you know, people, I was in the uh, moment where the progression from Internet Explorer and Google Chrome started getting um, some momentum. And it's like, you know, people are telling me, well, my friend is using Chrome. Should I use that? Well, you're using Internet Explorer and you're happy. It's fine. There were some crappy versions in Internet Explorer, like, there were some versions of Google Chrome that were worse than others. But overall, one of the things that is the simple basics of it is that apart from Firefox, uh, everybody else uses the Chromium engine, which is the same engine that Google Chrome uses. And, um, you know, Firefox might have a little more privacy than others uh, also. Uh, Opera could be different and have some more privacy, privacy of its own. It's all um, a question of usage, of preferences. People don't like change. This is why browsers and operating system often stagnate into their own market share because moving from something that you're used to to something new, not always the best. So, you know, I will always pretty much revert to whatever you use is fine. You know, is your web browsing fine? Of course, there's some out there are going to say, well, you know, you shouldn't say that because Chrome snoops on you a lot. And, well, yeah, but you know what? Um, for a lot of people, that's not even a, an issue. And personally, I don't really care as long as it's as clear as possible as what's happening, which is not. And that's a different issue than using a browser. It's more about 
how companies should tell us what they do. But uh, whatever you use is fine. And um, that's it. So the question that comes with this video is, is simple. What browser do you use? It's going to be interesting to see on a channel like this where there's a lot of tech savvy people and tech enthusiasts, uh, the answers are going to be kind of interesting. I know some of you use Brave. You've mentioned it many times. Um, but any other? Um, personally, I kind of use Edge the most, but I'm not stuck into a browser itself. I could, you know, any day use anything else. And two reasons why I have multiple browsers, because I make videos, so I got to talk about them, but also because each browser has different accounts of different things that I do. So instead of logging out and in and out and in of different accounts, I can just use the browser linked to whatever account I want to do. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.